Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is my Christmas cactus in full blossom. I actually have these plants in three colors and they're about six years old. Today I will be showing you step by step on how to graft a Christmas cactus onto a dragon tree. So first you cut the leaves of the Christmas cactus no longer than about two notches or two sections because it has more chance of succeeding in the grafting process so keep it to a maximum of two sections. So these are the leaves that I cut off from the Christmas cactus. Next, choose a piece of dragon plant that is big, healthy and straight with about the length of 40 centimeters. So this is the plant that I will choose. So once you have chosen the perfect tree, just plant it into a pot just like this. As you can see, I have also attached some bamboo stick onto other plants so it will not fall over. We are up to the next step, which is to cut a V shape onto the thorns that grow onto the edge of the plant. As you can see, I am slowly and very carefully cutting a V-shape onto this side. Using a sharp blade. But just keep in mind to make sure the slit isn't too wide or too narrow. Otherwise, the grip will not be as strong. And for every Christmas cactus leaves that we are going to graft into the dragon tree, you have to shave off the end that will be inserted into the slit that we just cut before. So just like so, very carefully shave off a little bit and then insert it into the slit. Like the first one, cut a slit right where the thorns grow on the side of the plant and then take the excess piece out and once again this is the leaf that I will be inserting so cut the flower off shave the tip just a little bit so it will adjust into the slit perfectly and will not fall out so like I'm showing you, put it into the slit and make sure it stays there. And then, voila! For further demonstration, here is a time lapse of the whole process of me grafting the Christmas cactus leaves onto the dragon tree. The very last step is to cover the plant with a plastic bag just like this so it will prevent any rotting in the areas that we cut the slits in. This often occurs as a result of the plant being in contact with water. So to prevent that from happening we put a plastic bag over it. After one week you remove the plastic bag. And 
that's all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.